Hello and welcome back to the Colony with Man and the Ants. We are playing Empires of the Undergrowth. We are continuing on through the new beta levels that are available. We did Enemy of My Enemy first. We did the Cullen after that. So we have Occupation and Cramped left to go. I guess we should do Cramped. We have, uh, you know, keep it next to the other ones. I can't remember if this is the Leaf Cutter or the Black Ant level. I'm sure we'll... I think it's the Leaf Cutter. Looks like a Leaf Cutter, doesn't it? Ooh. Oh, I see. I see. Yes. Oh, wow. I see where the name comes from. Okay. I'm going to guess this is going to open up something. Yeah, immediately going to open up something. So let's take care of that. I'm assuming we can take care of that. I wonder what that was for a second. I've completely forgot how the leaf cutters work. Do we have any food? We have nothing at all to start with. That is seriously harsh. So let's open that. We have the uh, Midias and the Majors. Is that Majors? Oh, it is Majors. We do get Majors straight away. We do not have a Leaf Store. So let's go get a Leaf Store. But first, we're going to have to send some of those ants out to get stuff. Uh, let's make a Leaf Store. Oh, where are we going to make a Leaf Store? I kind of want to save that for ants. So I guess here. And there might be a bit of trial and error in seeing how much we can uh, afford to dig up. I'm going to need a waste store. Where the hell is the waste store going to go? We're going to put the waste store... Because the ants... Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Oh, but they can't do that because there's no one there to do that <laughs> to do at the moment. Oh. Let's get rid of that. Let's bring them back in here. So we'll put the leaf store down here. We'll put the waste up there. Then we'll send them out gathering some leaves. And what do we have around? Oh, crickets. Larvae. The shiny beetles. All sorts of stuff around. It looks like maybe stuff isn't going to spawn. Like, it's not going to spawn. Is that a giant... Oh, it's a normal-sized whip spider. Leaf stores are full, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Let's get some more of these little dudes. We're really not going to do much in terms of... Uh, Upgrades and stuff. Well, at least sensibly sized upgrades, if you know what I'm saying. So if there is all the area around the queen as well, I should definitely have utilized rather than put them down there. Maybe we should have kept that for an additional leaf store. But we've done that now. We've done it. Let's see what happens. Where are we? Do have the little uh, the little miners. Awesome. Oh, we have no one actually building stuff, do we? Of course. Of course. Right, so let's put those on the uh, the leaf gather. In fact, I'll put them. Oh, I was gonna say put them both on leaf gathering duty. There's not much point at the moment, is there? I really should have put them around there to start with, shouldn't I? There we go. Live and learn, as they say. Live and learn. So when they start hatching, we will also uh, probably go up this way, I guess. So we have most of them now. If we can bring them over here. This looks like it might be fairly small, but I'm going to keep that as my waste area. Yes, that's not too bad. Let's get rid of that. The ants must defend themselves. Might use that as another little waste area, perhaps. And then I want to dig out this area as well. Because I assumed it would be one of those things. Yeah, if we dig out like from there, upwards, we'll get a little waste area going there. And this we'll use as our major chamber. Media chamber, sorry. Media chamber. And we'll probably put some more workers down there when we can as well. And there's one of them gone. Okay, let's send you back outside. We'll put a couple more waste spots up there. And then we will get those dug out ready to go as well. It's a little annoying that it's so close to the uh, 
entrance there. But we'll leave that one there to kind of try and dissuade ants from going in that direction. So we've got a couple there. We've got a little bit more there. Bit of a, the leaf store will just put a, across that nest. It isn't ideal, but there aren't many other options. And then we'll decide, I guess there next, but there's a few. We definitely want some medias before we get to that point, don't we? So it looks like we're going to be relatively safe up here. Oh, there's one jumping spider over there. Look, that's not too bad though, is it? A little bit of food there, then we'll go and get this 60 here, and then we'll probably head for this bit here. How do you get down to where the crickets are? Is there any other ramps down? No, so we have to go down here first. So it's a very specific route you need to take. They're really going to funnel you in a very specific direction, aren't they? So around there is to get to, uh, but you've got to take out the three crickets to get that. And that's not going to be an easy, easy ask, is it? We'd have to go around there to get those bits first. That'd be the next bit. How are we doing in terms of everything? Wonderful. Got our first media on the way. Whilst I was talking, they obviously finished doing that. Of course they did. Let's get some more leaf in the store, boys and girls. Girls, it's just girls. I don't know why I said boys and girls. Just confusing things. I might dig that bit out and put like another little mini leaf store there as well. How much are the media? 60? 80? Oh, blimey. Blimey, Charlie. So they're largely done there. Let's send them down here first. Try and keep away from that jumping spider for as long as possible till we've got some more medias on our side. The waste door is filling up, so we will build those extra ones over there. We do need some extra leaf store, so we should put that here. Like I say, we'll get a little a little bit extra over there at some point. We might have to make this whole bit a leaf store actually at some when we when we get a bit uh, a bit bigger, a bit more established. How are we doing? Yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. How many are there? There, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. It took us a little while to kill two, so we probably need at least eight medias. I'd have thought. Let's see how close we can get to the jumping spider before he kicks off. And then I didn't even look at the aim. The aim is obviously to kill all of the enemies, so we do need to take out those rather nasty beetles there. Those leggy spiders. So I'm sticking with leggy. Some giant crickets, four of them at once. And of course, the whip spider, little family they got going on as well. And the whip spider comes after the uh, leggy spiders. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Got a little bit more food again, so we'll put down another media. Can we upgrade? We can upgrade some of those. Let's get some of those upgraded, just to try and get that waste ticken down a little bit faster. I'm assuming we can't do, we can do one of those. Let's, let's do them while we can. Yeah, that's about all we're gonna be able to do in terms of upgrades. So. It won't be the fastest waste disposable. It's a little bit, and it will help. Just help get that waste ticking down a bit faster. So let's inch closer. Inch closer to the uh, jumping spider. I might... See if I can get the medias together. Oh, there we go. Yep. The ants must fight. We got a little bit too close to him.
Okay, let's bring everyone into this group at once then. Let's just try and overwhelm him. Oh, he's almost gone. He's almost gone. Come here, you little pesky thing. There we go. So all of this food is now up for grabs. Oh. We'll get rid of that marker for the moment. We can get another media down. So if that's just the little larvae in there, that might not be too bad. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's nine down there. It's been a nice little test of how well we would do with that, I suppose. There is also this route. Well, that's down towards crickets, and there's a big... Big old plant there. And over here, oh, there's praying mantises over there, look. Oh, and they've got the vine there defending. Not only leaves up to that with the big praying mantis. I didn't even see them there. So cunningly hidden. Oh, and they've got those little little fly things around as well. Oh, hmm, okay. How are we doing? Is all the leaf up here gone? That's not good. That's not good. So, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's definitely nine there. I'm pretty sure there's nine there. So, I think the next best option is to going to be to take out this instead. Let's bring the ones inside. Should have brought the ones inside first. That's my mistake. The ants must fight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine in there as well. I say I bring them in here, but we don't actually need to do this, do we? So maybe this is actually stupid. I was thinking, like, you know, extra food, but you don't get any food for because they're leaf cutters. Yeah, that's a bit foolish, actually. Should definitely, definitely have ignored them because that's used up half of our food taking care of those. And now we need to go down here. Oh, I can't remember. What, I can't remember how they worked. We can take care of this guy and really, really not annoy those crickets. Like seriously, if we annoy those crickets, then it's over. I think he would be easier than nine of those. Is he gonna come back? If he comes back, we'll, we'll take him. He's actually gone in the perfect direction. Yeah, you run over there. That's fine. We're going to start gathering some of these lovely leaves. He's already lost a leg. How are you doing for food? 25 food. Yes, yeah, so we can get this stuff sort of basically for free. And there's a fair amount over there. We might just be able to get that one without antagonizing them, but it's going to be close. It's going to be close. So I think we'll get these and then we'll probably head down there. I don't know if I'll risk that 60. It's a risky 60, isn't it? But once they're gone, we have this little bit there, and then we have all of that there up for grabs. Maybe that if you're feeling really cheeky. Oh, he's creeping closer. He's creeping closer. He has crept close enough. That we need to take him out now. But with the five medias, defend. as long as there's three of them there, yeah, that's fine. I don't know if we should risk that. That's it. It's a risky six. We might have to go for it. Oh, we've got 125 foods. Let's get down another media. Leaf stores are empty at the moment. Which is not ideal. So, so far we only have one additional media to take on. Take on these down there. Might have to go for that risky 60. If I aim them for about there... Looks like it should be okay. Looks like it should be okay. And that should get us another media. How much are the majors? 150? 150. Yeah, so you two get, get that last bit of food that's up there. We'll get this other media down. Check I've not missed anything. No additional roots or anything. 
Let's send over there, those prey mats. I don't know how difficult three mini prey mats is going to be. I think probably them before the prey mantises, but after those would be take. But then saying that, the little prey mantises, yeah, that's, that's also a risky one, because you can't go too close to the giant one, can you? Right then, guys, gals even. Oh, no, just seen a media just walk away. Let's wait for that media to come back. So we have a few with us. And then let's head down here and see if we can take away, take on these guys. The ants will fight to the death. Got a little lucky that we only aggroed. We aggroed most of them, but not all of them to start. So that worked out okay, actually. That worked out okay. So let's get this little bit of leaf here, and this bit here, and this bit here. There's nothing up there. That's just a little ledge so you can go and just taunt those guys from above. I think I mentioned it to start when they first did it, but I've not mentioned it for a while. But if you enjoy the soundtrack as much as I do, why wouldn't you? Because it's amazing. Then the they, uh, Slug Disco, that is they, Slug Disco did start putting the soundtrack on YouTube. So, I mean, go check it out because the soundtrack is so good to this game. The game's pretty fun, but the soundtrack is outstanding. Let's get another media. And then we've got this area here. We've got this area over here now as well, don't we? I think sticking with uh, medias. Oh, there was one of those little blue. There were a couple. I honestly can't remember. Was it the medias and majors take care of the the like the uh, little blue fly things? And maybe I'm just maybe those aren't the uh, extra things. Maybe that's maybe some, yeah these. Are they not the challenge mode things, or is that something different? Is that just something to look at? I thought they were the challenge mode ones. I really can't remember how they work. We have enough to get another media, but I want to leave it a little bit, just in case this does kick off. And I do have to worry about actually rehatching some ants. It'd be nice if they had the uh, ramps on the map, so you could actually see your proper routes. Just so we could plan it slightly better. So what did I say next? Next is going to be these guys. Because they've got a lot of health. They've got a lot of health, so they're going to be a little tricky. But there's not a huge amount of food down there, so they've got to be relatively early game. I think first of all those will take that food. Yeah, we won't get that bit. That bit can stay there. Then I think the mini praying mantis to get some of this vine, but not taking on the adult praying mantis, because that might be asking a little bit much. Now, do we upgrade is a, is a question. We're not really going to get any level threes. I might... I might... I might is, it, is it stupid? Is it stupid? I've done it. It's too late. We're going to get our first major. I don't think they are the challenge bugs. I think they are just decoration. It yeah, just instantly disappeared as soon as we went up there. And there's a risky 40 down there. I might go for that risky 40 because they're more defending that 600, aren't they? Let's add him into the group, shall we? Why not? Why not? Come and join the party. We could probably get... Oh, we don't want to be stupid, do we? Let's just get one or two of these. We won't go any further, because if we aggro one of them, we aggro all of them, and we're going to be in real trouble, I think, against three of them. Going to need a good little group to go against those. All right, let's get another media down. We've got a little bit of... I might... I think I'm going to make, like, one massive media nest. We'll do it around there and joining up with this one. All around there. We've got a little major group there. 
Obviously, there's very little we're going to be able to do about stopping ants being... Or stopping them walking over nests or food stores or anything to get anywhere because there are so many... Um, or at least those are empty, but we'll get a little bit in a minute. We can't go much closer at all. Just a just a cheeky a cheeky little bit closer. Ready to press that super runaway button as soon as anything starts kicking off. Oh, he's getting a little close. He's walking away. We're okay, we're okay. Don't panic, don't panic. Go back, go back, go back, go back. The battle has begun. Yeah, we're just going to sacrifice that dude. We're just going to sacrifice him. He did his job. He did his job. So next, we shall head down... Oh, what did I say? No, these next, wasn't it? Yes, those ones next. Um, oh, we got a little bit there and some more coming. How much food is that going to actually generate? Is it... We do have the Major with us. I think we'll be okay taking these out. I mean, there's a few more of them. If we can at least wait for these other Majors to arrive. In fact, no, we've got loads of food now. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know if we're going to have... Should we wait for him? There's nothing to lose by waiting for him, is there? How long is he going to take to hatch, do you think? It's not usually too long, is it? Yeah, there he is. He's just hatched because our food went down. So he should be on his way now. And as soon as he gets here... We'll go storm the rest of them. Where is he? Here he is. Here he is. Here's the big boy. Big girl. <laughs> wow, I'm making that mistake so many so many times tonight. In my defence, I'm once again not getting very much sleep. And you might say, oh, it's because you've just got a, you've got a young baby. You've got a 10-month-old baby. Of course you're not getting much sleep. But no, she sleeps like a baby. No, it's the cats that are the problem. Well, yes, a cat is the problem. The death. It's all Mookie. Let's not, let's not drag Molly's name into the mud. It's all him. So that wasn't too bad. We weren't expecting anything too major from that. So after these, the next question becomes, not those, because there's three of them, even though there is a juicy 600 there. The question becomes, those guys? Those guys? Or those guys? It's tricky. So they've got what? One, two... 140. Probably about 400 food. A rough, rough, rough estimate there. They've always got 600. They've got about 700. Whereas these guys, they're only protecting... I mean, that's it's risky to go too far down that vine anyway. They're not protecting, so maybe those guys will be the next ones in line. We need to be a little careful here we don't aggro those. We have a little bit of extra food, so I'm going to put down some more medias for the moment. You guys stay way down there, please and thank you. And then there's another 40 food we shall get. And then I guess we'll go after those those prey mantis, but it's just, oh, it just feels like it's such a risky maneuver. Because do the ants use the whole vine straight away? In which case they're going to definitely aggro that guy and it will be game over for us. Like immediately. Because I don't think we can take him out at all. Don't think we've got a chance of taking him out. Oh, you, where are you going? Scare me like that. So we'll get that last little bit of leaf and then we'll pull everyone back. We've got some more leaf coming back into the nest. Got a fair amount of food. Let's get another major down. Let's 
what just hatched there? What happened there? It was like a little, a little worker hatched there. That was very confusing. That was very confusing. It's got a little bit of leaf in store, so we're going to have a few little extra bits of food coming in, but not a huge amount. Uh, so we'll just wait for this new major to pop along. And then I might... Is it time to take the workers? Put them into separate groups? Come back. Come back, Major. Because I don't think they're going to be much use at all against praying mantises. They're just going to be destroyed, aren't they? So let's wait for that other Major to come crawling back. Here he comes. And then we shall have a go... Taking out this guy. This guy? These guys, even. How is this going to fare? Oh, we're okay. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. So if I tell you both to come just back here, hopefully, like, those two leaves there we don't want to touch at all. Maybe that one, but it's so risky. Because if he gets aggro and storms us, then it's game over, man. Game over. So I think we're about done there. Let's pull everyone back. Because then it's those three or those two. Now, if I'm judging it by the amount of food that they're essentially protecting, then it would suggest that these guys are going to be the easier option. So I guess we'll go for those guys next. So we've got most of our forces here, haven't we? Oh, saying that, saying that, let's actually put some more down, shall we? Should we get... Yeah, let's get another media. Here we've got another bit of leaf coming in. Lovely. Where do you take that? Was there like a leaf store at the... Oh no, because it's the miners taking it from there, isn't it? Of course. Of course. So we should wait for those two to hatch. Which will give us 17 roughly. There's, you never quite come out with your full force, do you? They're always back and forth. I think that's going to be probably about as good as it's going to get. So let's turn off their food gathering. And let's head down here. And see how easy this is. The battle. Has begun. It'd be nice if we could have just done one at a time, but they always seem to be very much paired up. There wasn't really a space. Well, yeah. Weirdly, this level's a little bit cramped. So we've used up most of our food already in taking out the one of them. But it looks like we should be okay. It did take out most of the forces. Or is, are we going to be okay? We are. Only just. Only just. All right, food gather on. Two's over there. One's over there. So then it's going to be three small spiny crickets. There are those there as well, but they're like... Are they the same size? They're smaller, aren't they? But in theory... In theory, they're about equally weighted. That's interesting. What do we do? What do we do there? Or, alternatively three of those so all three of these options are technically in terms of the food source very similar hmm well, let's wait for them to get the food first shall we is that night coming do we have to worry about night no other creatures spawn i don't think do they so we should be okay Let's just gather all of this leaf. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We're going to need at least one more major. And probably a couple of medias, hopefully, from this. Although saying that there's not a lot more leaf to come. There's a little bit coming in and there's a little bit down there. It's not a huge amount. We'll definitely get at least one media. Well, that might be it, because we're going to want to have some stored up. About 15 there, and about another another 60 to come. 
taking out those two did cost us about 90 food. We want to make sure we have at least 100 food, I'd have thought, for each fight. That's going to get up to about at least 180, though, isn't it? Right, so I think... Oh, and also that guy is apparently relatively equally weighted. But I don't believe that for a second. I think we'll try these guys. They're a bit closer to the nest. We'll just get the one extra media. We'll wait for him to hatch. Oh, because it's, it's the miner, isn't it? That's what I saw hatch as soon as I put the tile down. It's the miner. The ones we'll pull back. We do have 180 food, actually. Let's get another one down. Let's get another one down. Wait for them both to hatch. So we'll get up to 18 medias. And our four majors now. I love the size of the leafcutter queen. She's insane. She's absolutely insane. Well, it's just the 17, right? Yes, yeah, sorry, I mis misread that completely. Of course, that does take a slightly under 200. I didn't think about the hatching costs, but they're still not too bad. Uh, we've got one, two, three. Where's our fourth major? I would like to have... No, where are you going? I was clicking around to make sure you didn't run away. That was the whole point of the clicks. One of our majors is actually half dead as well. Oh, and that one's even more dead. So technically, they're only sort of a major between them. Where are you going? Where are you going? Right, they're, they're, they're there. Let's see if we can tease them out. If we can tease out, you know, half of them or something. Perfect, yes, perfect. Defend themselves. Oh, that worked out really nicely, actually, in terms of aggroing them slowly so we didn't just have to defend them, uh, take them all at once. Really happy with that. Or right, everyone up that plant. Gather all of that. Look at that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Let's see if we can get a nice little picture from that because that looked amazing. Yeah, that looks class. Look at that. It's quite unusual to see that many uh, all over a plant at once. Nice. Nice. So that should get us quite a lot of food. Well, obviously it's going to get us. It's going to get about 600 leaf, which will translate into quite a lot of food. So we might need to start thinking about... We can get at least a couple... I think we'll probably be able to get two more majors and maybe not fill those up quite yet. But we're going to need to start thinking about expanding the nest. So it'll be this little bit here next. Leaf stores are full. So let's... And we know it's not ideal, but we're just going to smash it all straight in front of the uh, entrance there. Just a little bit extra, just so they can get that leaf down. We don't probably need too much. I mean, the most we're going to need is about a thousand, isn't it? But even that's probably probably asking a lot. Be used up faster than you can gather it out of thought. Yeah, because we've only got 150 at the moment, and it's just as soon as it's down, it's taken again, isn't it? So I think that's probably going to see us all right. Uh, I'm gonna, am I gonna get both majors? Uh, how much left? It's not much left on there, is there? Because that's gonna be 300 gone straight away, and a three, 330 for the. So it's gonna leave us a hundred. Maybe we'll just get the one major, and we'll see how we go. Because it's probably gone now, isn't it? Pretty much. Pretty much. And then it's where we go next. I've Probably these guys, I'd have thought. Let's bring the ones there. The twos will start creeping down. We'll turn off the twos food gathering. Um, 
let's get that fifth major. Sixth major, even. Shall I? Yes. And then we'll get that many medias. We'll leave that there, because by the time we hatch out another major and those guys, it's going to push our food down a little. We've only got seven leaf in stock as well. Although saying that, it's, it's ticked up a little bit. It's ticked up a little bit. Let's get a bit more. Stop wandering up into the waste area, you idiots. And then everything hatched has taken us under 100 again. But still, that's not... Not a horrible amount of food. And we took care of the other ones, okay? If we can get lucky here and just aggro at least one on his own. Because that major is dead, basically. He's walking wounded. There's another one there. I think there are two basically dead majors. One fully, fully healed. or well, not quite, actually. But nearly full health major just wandered back into the nest just to wind me up. Is he on his way? He's on his way. Let's wait for that dude. Because yeah, that di that's, that guy's gone. That guy's just 15 food waiting to happen. That's all that is. Alright, here he is. Here he is. Let's start creeping down here. And I'm not going to spend ages waiting around to see if we can just aggro one. If, if one comes, one comes. We will sneak forward. If we have to do them all at once, we'll do them all at once. Oh, but there we go. There's one. The There's two. Fight. That could be worse. That could be worse. Yeah, so these ones do the spinny attack. They're slightly more mature than the other ones. And that destroyed huge amounts of our forces, actually. Huge amounts. I wasn't expecting to lose basically everything. Uh, so we'll see what we have that's hatched. We have 10 medias, 2 majors. That should be enough to take care of that, hopefully. It's almost half our forces, and we took out 2 with a full complement. So hopefully we'll be okay. I wasn't expecting... Uh, to be quite that challenging. That might be half how we deal with a few of these areas, though, where we essentially throw an army force. I'm missing a major. Where's this other major? Oh, no, they are both there. Throw an army force at, a, at an enemy. Do as much damage as they can and get destroyed. And then have the new force come in afterwards. That spin attack is just devastating. Devastating. Well, let's put on the... Uh, yeah, let's turn on the food gather. I was going to do it a bit differently. So, yeah, we lost our majors again after that. That slow burn attack just cost us another 30 food. So that's cost us about... Time we hatch all that stuff as well. So what's that going to be? 30, 60, 90... Plus those, what are they to hatch? They're six, so that's six times 15, so that's 60. It's another, that's 180. So that's 180 food immediately gone just to rehatch that, uh, the ants we've already lost. Plus the stuff we already rehatched. Yeah, that was a very expensive uh, battle, actually. But I don't know where else we would have gone. So we'll gather this food. Do we need to worry about going into here yet? I don't know. What are you doing? What's that about? I regret putting those there. I might get rid of them because they're just... They're just constantly poisoned, though, because they must keep walking next to it. I've not seen them do it, but they must be walking up next to it. So we haven't even hatched... We've hatched one of our majors, and that's it so far. We have started on the big plant, though, so we should start seeing some food coming in fairly quickly. I 
just watching them. I want to see. I'm assuming it's up there they go to get poison. And if I see them do it, it might just be this extra tile here, perhaps. If I see them go up there, then I will uh, get rid of those two. Because otherwise it's just costing us extra food, isn't it, essentially? Or at least get rid of one. If we just have one waste tile up there. How's that going? 200 food left. That's more than I was expecting, actually. We have half of our majors back. A lot of food coming back in. But yeah, I don't know how much we're going to be able to expand from that attack. It's more just getting ourselves back in order. So we've only just got back to a full complement. And we started off with 90-odd food, didn't we? So we're still not actually back to where we were. We are now back to where we were. Everything else now is the winnings. Now that I'm paying attention to it, none of them are coming, going around poisoned. So I don't know where they're... I'm assuming it's up there, but I don't know for sure. So I'm hesitant to get rid of anything. Let's just finish those off, because we're definitely going to want them. And then we'll see how much food we come back with. Is that still going? Still going for the moment. Almost gone, though. Almost gone now. And then... Is it giant praying mantis? Or three of these bugs? I don't like any of those options. The Harvestman might not be too bad, or the Leggies, or... Yeah, because I always get the name wrong, so I'm just going to continue to call them Leggies. Five giant grasshoppers is, uh, is a tall order, though. But then the other option is a Whip Spider, so... Neither of those are nice options, and that whip spider doesn't actually get you any food. He's just you need to fight him to have a chance to take on these these guys. Have a chance of getting that. So it's just a way of spreading the load. Hmm. And of course we are now out of food down there. Let's see how our food stores level out. It's not going to be enough. I'm not going to get a major out of that. Might not be able to do much more at all. So it means it's not worth doing the expansion of the nest yet. I might get another... I'm going to get another media, but where? I suppose we could just pop it down there. Yeah, because if I got a major, that'll take us down to about 135. 30 food. And I'm not convinced that's enough. Even that little bit of extra food we've got ticking in now. So let's get another media. And another media? What will that take us down to? Under 150. Now I'm very, very hesitant to do that. So instead, let's bring all the forces over here. Bring the ones just to about there. Turn off the two's food gatherer, and then we'll try and take out these guys and see how that goes. Because it's, I'm trying to think, 120. It's about 300 food to hatch. 300 food to hatch everything again? Must have calculated that wrong, right? Oh yes, yeah, two, two ten to hatch everything. We've got about, we've got enough in there to hatch everything once more, which seems like a reasonable place to to be. If I can aggro one again, it would be super, super nice. I'm trying to zoom in to get rid of that leaf, but it doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to work. Ah, uh, we've aggroed all three at once. Okay, everyone go, everyone go, because that major's getting hammered. Okay, how are we doing? No one's gone yet. One of them's almost dead. 
sticking. Oh, everyone's run away because that annoying spray attack. This little guy here is doing uh, doing sterling work. Yeah, they don't do very much damage at all. We lost one media so far. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. That was not too bad. Let's turn on the food gathering for the twos. Send the ones to that 41st. Yeah, that worked out. That was okay. That was okay. We lost... Like, what, 40 food? 30 food? So then it'll be that guy. And then it'll be, I think, probably the giant praying mantis afterwards. I think that'll be better than trying to go for... I think I think I might leave those till last. I think that's going to be horrible. We are going to need to actually dig out some more space now, though, which is potentially going to cost us more. But let's get all that leaf in first. Let's get another major down there. I don't care too much about the leaf stores because the media, uh, the miner, sorry, will take that away really quickly anyway. So it'll cost us a little bit of time waiting, but we're in no massive rush. Aside from the ever increasing length of the video, of course, but you guys don't mind about that. And then I might bring the twos in and get ready to expand and think about mm, there and there, perhaps. Because that's not going to be too bad. Yeah, that's fine. Fight. So we can expand our medias up there. Then I'm thinking if we maybe go for this, assuming that's hopefully very similar. We can expand our majors back there. And I'm just very hesitant to touch any of these bigger, bigger creatures. Bigger exclamation marks. For now, at least. Obviously, we will have to give it a go at some point. Alright then. So, is all that food gone now? Not quite. Might as well send the twos down there. If nothing else, they can go down there to prepare to fight these, can't they? May as well get ready for that. In the meantime, we shall get another major down. And one more media. I think we'll probably... Oh, there's a bit of food coming back, actually. So we'll probably get another media or two out of it. I think we'll get at least one more media. Let's get another media. Oh, immediately took it away. So we want to be aiming for about 250 food, ideally, in stores now. So once these are all here, we may as well just go straight for the fight. There's not... There's a couple more coming, but I don't think it'll be anything which would be overly decisive. Uh, so let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. Again, if we could aggro... One or two of them. Instead of we... Oh, that's not too bad. That guy's going to sacrifice himself. So we can try and take a... At least take the leg off of this dude. Okay, now we'll go for those once he's uh once they finish trying to attack a leg. So that's at least one leg gone, I think. So if we can head up there now once you finish with those legs. Take care of that dude. And then we'll go down there and take care of this dude, because he's going to be worrying our little food-gathering workers. Where did he go? Oh, he's there. He's gone. Okay. <laughs> Completely lost him for a moment. And then these last three are really where it's... Uh, 88. Oh, because the ones on you need to kill the under ones underground as well. That's super tricky. I didn't realise I said the below ground ones as well. Right, food gathering on. We'll leave the ones doing that while we ga gather this plant. And then these three here. Yeah, these are the really interesting ones. 
do you do five giant spiny crickets, two large but not giant whip spiders, and a bunch of babies, which I'm not too worried about, or the praying mantis? Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking the praying mantis. I think we'll do that, then the whip spiders. Then we'll leave the crickets till last, because the crickets are the ones which terrify me, to be honest. Okay, so we'll wait for this food to come in. It's all starting to trickle in there now. We can start expanding our operations a bit more. I don't care that the leaf stores are full. They can stay full. I will save my food. Let's get another major and a couple more medias. Let's see where we are after that. So I think, is that most of the food gone now? There's a little bit left actually. There's another 100 food, that's quite, quite good. And the workers have got another 10 food to get from there. When they manage to get over there, of course. I can't see any yet. Oh, there's one going now. One going now. So up to 400 food. We're still probably aiming for about 250 to 300 food in our stores. Particularly going against the Praying Mantis, which is going to be very challenging. He is going to kill a lot of ants. I think that, I think with that worker gone up there, I think that's probably all of that food gathered now. Let's just make sure. Yes, 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 yes. In which case, let's bring everyone here. In fact, the ones we'll pull back just because we can. It doesn't really matter too much. And bear in mind, we want to keep about 300 or thereabouts food in stock. Probably not another major. Although I am sticking very much to the quantity over quality mindset, and I'm not sure that's that's the best thing, but then we can't do full upgrades of stuff, so why do you want to go for uh, upgrades if you can't get everything upgraded to level 3, right? So we've ended up with about 600 food, so let's get another major. And one more media. See how the food goes. Because time that hatches, that hatches. So up to almost 30 now, so what's that? 180 to hatch them all. And another 150 for that. So yeah, that's 330 we need to hatch everything. So you yeah, will probably leave that there. We will wait for that extra major to hatch before we... Uh, Go and storm this guy. We'll turn off their food gathering. I would like all the majors to be present though. If that's alright with you. If you wouldn't mind. Honestly. Honestly. What are they like? So we have all of the majors hatched. So this is probably... Yeah, you've got poison coming in. I don't know why you would sneak up there. Nope, don't, no, 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 someone stop him. Oh, we haven't really got time to wait for him to uh, wander all the way back and come in again. So, I guess it would just be a backup force. There's another one disappeared now. That's why I keep trying to place the marker down to keep them interested. Um, that's, Well, he's seen us. Let's go for it. We haven't got an option there. Oh, Ooh. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. He had a little bit too much health regen coming in to start but that did not last too long did it wonderful so that's another what do we say about 800 no 700 food or 700 leaf we should say 700 leaf I'm not sure how that'll translate into actual food it's a damn good start though damn good start uh, we are having issues with our waste store at the moment i don't know what happens if your waste fills up do you just stop being able to generate more food 
I don't know. I don't know. We can't really build any more. As it is, I think people who are using this entrance and exit are potentially poisoning themselves. We could have maybe not built those mages and used that as an extra little waste door and come down this way, but... Well, I don't want to do that. Why do I not want more mages if the space is there, right? So another major. It's moving the marker so I can see how much food is left there. None. It's all gone. It is all gone. Right then. So... Twos start heading over here, although, no, in fact, saying that, now let's keep them close to the nest for the minute, because then if they wander into the nest and come back in, they don't have to go too far to uh, to come back to uh, where we want them. Let's get another major down. Let's... Um, we have some more leaf coming in. Yeah, let's, let's fill that up. Let's get another media. So obviously the major concern with the whip spiders is their, again, their area, massive area attacks where they just clip their little claws together and everything suddenly hugely damaged. Which can obviously be quite problematic. So that's left us with 450, so if we put another major down, it puts us down to about 3... 340. Oh no, less than that though, about 300, which maybe isn't enough. Maybe put down another media, but we haven't really got the space to put down another media. So we'll just see how it goes. We'll just see how it goes. Right then. Just trying to make sure everyone's interested by clicking lots and lots and lots. Let's head over here. There's, a, there's three majors just hiding inside the entrance. Follow the markers. What are you playing at? Look how it's split our forces now. Like there's the first major. There's the last one. Unbelievable. Keep them guessing. Keep them guessing. Where are we gonna go? Nobody knows. Don't you go, don't you are oh, you Absolute pain in the ass. Right, let's just go for it. We've lost two medias and a major who decided just to wander off, not play by the rules. The battle has begun. A battle has begun. This is not the battle. That's the battle against the five spiny crickets. And as we said before, this one's particularly annoying because it doesn't actually get us. I don't think we lost any ants though, which isn't bad. We lost another media down there. But there are loads of medias just wandering back and forth. Just wandering back and forth. What are you doing? And we lost another... Me Look at them all. I know sometimes if they feel they need to go back home, they'll, they'll wander back if they feel there's nothing for them to do, but I'm telling them to go between markers. I would love it if they didn't just wander off when I'm about to take on another large whip spider and all of its babies. Look how sp like spread our forces now. It's just a, a f like almost a full health major just wandering around over there. Right, when this guy gets a little close, we will head up here before we lose any more. And at least, assuming we survive this, we will end up with some fight. food from this. But only, oh, I say only, it's 1,200. It's not one of the small ones, it's one of the larger ones. That's a lot of food. That's going to be very good for us. They seem to be focusing on the smaller ones, which I guess isn't the worst thing in the world. We haven't really... I say we haven't lost. We definitely have lost a lot, because there's a lot still... A lot of new ones just hatched, look. I think we're going to be okay, particularly with these forces coming in. I don't think he's even going to take out all of these, is he? Although his... Damage has slowed down a little bit. Right. Food gathering on. Let's get that 1,200 leaf, please, and thank you. Oh, 
Pam 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 pam. And then we're going to have to expand the nest a bit more. Probably down here for the majors and down here for the medias, I'm thinking. This one's a risky one because it's right at the back, so you'd assume it would be more awkward. So it may be it's lulling you into a false sense of security and opening that's going to open up like this bit as well or something. But first of all, I say first of all, we actually haven't got... I suppose I can get a couple more majors down. I'll get a couple more majors down before we do anything. And then we'll do this bit first. Just the first bit of leaf coming in. Lovely. Fill up those leaf stores, please and thank you. Our waste is still annoyingly high, but yeah. If we take out this and this at some point, I could build some more waste down there, perhaps. Or maybe down here. Perhaps even up here, but yes, yeah, those bigger question marks we need to get through first. Let's get those two majors down. And then wait for a... Where am I going? In the middle there. A second run on that leaf. Because there's already half its food gone. So we can get our army force up there to do one more gather. And once they come back, we'll keep them in the nest. Ready to start an assault down there to expand a little bit more. Before we try and take out five spiny crickets. Oh, we're really looking forward to it. We might get lucky if they stay like that and be able to just aggro two of them to start with, which will make our lives a little bit easier. Just a wee bit easier. Okay. Still a lot of them coming, but I might... I might do that. Just get them definitely back in the nest. Let's move the two marker there. Move them back again. Because there's a little bit of extra food there, but we've got enough food to start expanding our numbers of ants. In fact, we might have too much food. That might be more than 150 leaf they brought back with them. And we'll leave our workers going out there and doing a little bit of slow gathering as we regroup our forces and then we will press this bit here and we'll just wait for these yeah at the very least this group to get in and then we'll click that and see what happens yeah that's fine that's what I was hoping for the so let's take care fight. of those Dig that out just in case it's a faster route for them to leave the nest. And then we'll bring everyone back here. And we'll open this bit and we will cross our fingers. Because it looks like it should be okay, but it's also super, super risky. But without knowing what it is, you don't know whether it's a good idea or not, do you? You might just open up all of this. Uh, oh, oh, it's a bunch of tiny crickets. Oh, that's worse than I was expecting. But they don't do the spin attack, do they? And they haven't got the space to do any, any damage in area of effect attacks. And they're doing a fair amount of damage. We did, we're going to kill them. They did do a fair amount of damage. Definitely more than I would have liked to have seen them do. But there we go. Let's send all of our army back out there to finish gathering that food. And we can continue expanding... So what are we looking at now? What are we looking at now? So 10 would be 150, so that's about 225. And that's about 180. It's getting up to about 200. So we need about 400 odd food to hatch everything again. There's a little bit more leaf coming in though, isn't there? So I might, might get one more major. We're gonna have to leave that about there then though. I 
And then we're going to have to take out the crickets because there is stuff down here which is probably going to be easier than the crickets. But we don't get any food for doing any of these. We don't gain anything from killing these. We only gain food from killing these guys. And that is the last food for us left on this map. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring them back here just to try and get them grouped up nicely. Am I? No, I'm not. That's probably a waste of time. Let's bring them over here where they won't be grouped. Oh, I'm saying that. There's a lot of them got to bring leaf back. Yeah, let's take them all back home. So that they're going to be together with the guys that are dropping off leaf. So we can all come back in in one, uh, one hit. And we'll see how much... Oh, there's a little bit of leaf. That's about 100 leaf, I think, wasn't it? We should push this up definitely over 400 food. Might as well take them in so they're actually all grouped together. Then hopefully they'll all go at once and no one will run back to the nest just as we're about to attack those grasshoppers. Crickets, even. Yeah, it's a little bit more than 100 food, actually. That's quite nice. That's quite nice. I'm going to put that down to grow some lovely fungus. Everyone's marching back into the nest. Oh, the ones are still out there, but that's that's fine. The ones can just stay out there. Although I might bring them back in to do some egg work for this next fight, actually. But I'm just going to look at this and see where this ends up. So I think we'll probably get away with another media. Yeah, we're not going to get another another mage rabbit, but we'll get another media. So we'll just wait for this little guy to hatch. The ones will at least pull back over there. Oh, no, I was going to put the ones on uh, on egg duty, wasn't I? Just in case this goes really... It's probably not too important, because... Like I say, if everyone dies immediately, then we'll probably just have to wait for everyone to hatch again as they try another attack. Right. So if I say, go here... Does that mean you're all going to go at once? No one's going to get left behind. No one's going to be just stood staring at a wall. You're going to go on mass. Uno mass. And then you'll hopefully get there, immediately aggro one or two of those crickets. No one runs away, everyone goes for it. If they all come at once, we are in trouble. Although the area is slightly restricted, so there's a sort of bottleneck to... Oh no, if we get back there, they could probably get all five of them together. There, maybe three or four? And we're at a good point now oh, there, but then they started walking away. So we're no longer at a good point. Look, the media's already won. We didn't even get to our destination, you utter douchey bag. I'm going to start creeping forward straight away as they were quite far down. The ants must fight. So, yeah, it's taken about, it's taken about half of our food to get those. They can over over half of our food to get those. That's a little bit more than I was anticipating. Everyone back in the nest, because we're going to have to do the same thing again on those three. Now, in theory, in theory, we should be okay. Plus, we've got that little bit of extra food they're bringing back. I mean, tiny amounts, but every little helps, you know. In theory, we should be okay, but it's not gonna. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be very. We've probably run out of food. Pretty sure we'll run out of food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch a full-scale attack. I'm just gonna click two up there, so they just all head up up there at once. Uh, we'll launch a full-scale attack. They'll all die pretty quickly. So before the actual reinforcements get there. I'll pull everyone back here to hatch as many of them as possible. Then again, our reinforcements are going to be really paltry, aren't they? They're only going to be 150 foods worth. So maybe we won't do that. We, we have to hope that this force here is enough to take them out, don't we? Let's do it, ladies. Let's do it. No time like the present. And then fingers crossed, because this is literally make or break. If these crickets absolutely destroy us, that's it. 
end of mission. We come all this way and that will be the end of it. And I don't... What do I do differently? Those guys are pretty easy. What was a bit more challenging than I was expecting? Crickets over there. Pro pro probably done those... Uh, those guys before the crickets, I think. I think that's what I'd have done differently. Now this guy is brave. Or this girl is brave, I should say. Oh, and that's going to go for that food first. In fact, I should definitely turn the food gathering off. Not that it's going to matter at this the point. Ants must fight. Okay. Okay. How are we doing? So they're working on two of them to start with. This guy's just running back and forth. That's working in our favour. We're basically out of food. Two of them are dead. So do we have enough left there to take care of him? I think we do. We definitely do. Lovely. Could have turned the food gatherer off to start with. It would have left us with an extra couple of ants. But really, ultimately, didn't go that badly. Didn't go that bad. I'm going to send the ones there as well. They're not going to be able to do very much. But uh, and they're also very slow at carrying leaf back. But every little helps, you know. And we need that all that food there before we can start thinking about doing this. But I'm quietly confident. I'm expecting... What five be stuck in that little corner there? But they can't really cram them in, I suppose, can't they? So I'm expecting spiny crickets somewhere. Probably these ones, actually. As that was crickets there. Maybe they'll group them together. Let's move the markers off so I can actually pay attention to how much food is left. Obviously, right now, it is oodles and caboodles of food. So they're going to bring it back. The little medias are going to do sterling work. And sending that around to all our little fungus farms around. Our food is going to be instantly used up to hatch the ants that we lost. We've only got another two majors to go. Another one. And there's that. So all food now is... Well, not bonus food because we started with, what, 400 odd. So we're not quite back at the point where we were. And then we have to play a really dangerous game of pick the order. You're going to release the enemies into your nest and hope you don't pick the wrong one. Although, again, saying that, we do need to take them all out with what we've got. We're not going to have any more ants after this. So there isn't really a wrong order here. It's just, just pacing yourself, I suppose, and making sure you've got enough food. We'll have to keep loads of food in stock. Because so what's there going to be? Probably one pretty major fight, two major fight. Maybe three. So we're, oh, we're gonna want so, I, might, I might not make any more ants. I might get all this leaf gathered. Get as much food as we can. And then start working through them and see how it goes. Move those guys back into uh, the nursery group. So we get some extra egg moving ability. And yeah, and then, and then cross our fingers, basically. <laughs> that's, that's what we're going to do. Just cross our fingers and pray to the ant gods. Now we're doing 45 food. We're basically done. And we are done. Let's move those back into the nursery group. Let's get rid of the one pheromone marker. Wait for everyone to get back with all this lovely food. Where's the last bit of food? Still there. Just coming down that ramp. So we got a... That he was really close to the back of the group. I would have thought there'd be more... More behind him. Okay, that's fine. So yes, we've only currently got about... What, about 800 food in there? So it's going to get up to over 1,000, I think. But like I say... Got to be really careful here. I think we'll probably start with these two and see how we go there. And there is no time like the present, is there? We may as well start this now. All of our ants are inside the nest. Yeah, so that's two shiny beetles. That's not too bad, although we can't really surround them very well. That means they can't use their spray too effectively either. So that was okay. Might do these two next. Bum, bum, bum. 
So we've got 900 food, and that is it. That is all of our food. Oh, a little bit more, actually. It's ticking up. Still 987. So this shouldn't be too bad either, you would hope. I always thought the iridescent ones were, were a little bit better, but... I'm thinking maybe they're not. I think these are maybe a bit tougher, actually. Just in terms of health, if not damage. Okay. Not, I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to do that yet. So it's this or this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Well, this has got fewer... Fewer bigger check marks, uh, exclamation marks. So let's go up here. And actually, that fight cost us no food at all. So maybe maybe they are stronger. Where have we fought them? There, maybe the iridescent ones are stronger. Maybe I, I'm actually wrong. It has been known to happen. Oh, cheeky. Oh, okay, so what's that? Four iridescents yeah, and some larvae. Fight. That's slightly tougher. And they've only just started on the iridescence. And you can see our food is already ticking down and down and down and down and down. What I could have done, actually, was... Uh, that's just a bit awkward with the double. I could have put everyone around the queen and let them come to the queen. So we actually had a bit more space to surround them. I might try that in these... This battle here. Because that cost lots and lots of our food so let's give that a go let's pull everyone back here let's open this up the idea being that if we can get a like see if you go in down there it's not going to help if we can surround them a little bit it's not going to happen because those workers are going to just stall them okay and that guy's gone a completely different route to just really confuse matters So not quite what we hoped, but hey-ho. Down to 400 food, and then what do we do? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Probably there. We'll probably go for that. And we're down to 400 food. Uh, it's, oh, no, we haven't even killed that guy yet. Oh, my word. He's just slowly getting through our workers. Uh, so we're missing a few of those workers. I'm going to wait for those to get egged and hatched. So I do want a full complement so they can run around and do more eggs. Just in case it's a slightly prolonged battle, you never know. And make sure that everything else is grown and ready to hatch at a moment's notice as well. There's a few up there that have only just got put down, so... We'll just give it, just give it a few moments. Some of the mages are uh, only just starting to mature as well. Definitely the right idea to not spend half of that food that we gathered. I'm glad I made that decision. I think that's about as close as they're going to get, is it? I don't know if these ones get up to the full mature cocoon level, or do they? I mean, are they changing before my very eyes? I don't think they are, are they? No, okay, right. Uh, so I'd like... What would I like to happen here? If we try pulling everyone back here a little bit, and we'll see if we can get them out of this hole... Whatever they are, yes, crickets. Thought they might yeah, be. Thought they might be, but the, we have got them into the open, which is going to work for us and against us, really. It means we can at least surround them here, but then as soon as they do their spinny spinny attacks, it's sort of irrelevant. And they're going to use up all of our food. Yep. So we have 41 ants left at the moment. 38 now. Yep, spoke too soon. My mistake. And this is a bit awkward. Because there's not really a large area to fight them in here, apart from by the queen. Whatever is in here. So we have 38 ants left, and we need to take out these two areas. I think... I'm going to place my bet now, and I'm going to say I think that we are going to lose this level by the skin of our teeth. Really, are going to lose or win by the skin of our teeth. I think we're going to lose. Because if either of these are crickets, 
I'm pretty sure they will run through 38. Yep, they are smaller crickets, which is something, but they are the crickets nonetheless. To the death. All right, everyone, everyone come down here. Do what you can. So 35, 30, 20, 20 18. Quicker than I can say is how quickly I kill everything. 12, yeah, they're not going to... Oh, we got so close. 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 0. Oh, we got so close. We got so close and I don't even know what's in there. Can someone go and... Dig that out quickly. Now you're going to go protect the queen instead, are you? Chicken. Ah. Oh. And the little miners are still just carrying around waste, like it's going to make any difference. Ah. So close. So close. How could you have handled that much differently, really? What could I have done different? Slight different order to killing things outside, I suppose, is the only real thing. Yeah, I can't think of anything else majorly different I would have done. Like I say, I think going for the black beetles, I don't know what they're called, rather than the crickets outside first, would have got us an extra little bit of food to take out the crickets. Because they're the ones which really did a lot of damage and took a, took up a lot of food. Yeah. But anyway, another really interesting level from Slud Disco. I continue to be massively impressed with the uh, the little extra levels they do. And they did actually make a point of saying, I think it was on their Twitter, or on one in the, I think it was in the newsletter, actually, uh, that people were concerned that working on these levels was taking time away from the main campaign. But they did say, no, this is what people work on in their downtime. They don't take long at all compared to the main campaign, former Carrium levels, which is going to be the Fire Ants, obviously, next. But uh, yeah, it's a little extra fun they do on the side as and when they can. And they are always really interesting. Always really interesting. So anyway, there we go. That was uh, Cramped. That was a failed attempt to do Cramped. But maybe if we have time, we'll come back to it after we've done Occupation and see if we can, see if we can pull it off then. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, do hit the like button. That's always appreciated. Comment, subscribe, all of those good things. Don't forget, streaming is back on Wednesdays at 7pm, so come and watch me play Satisfactory. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Empires of the Undergrowth. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.